Right. I'd like to introduce everybody to a person I share my flat with. That's really, it's not a person. It's uh, my guinea pig. I've had a long tradition of keeping small animals, partly because I live on my own and uh, I get lonely if I haven't got something to keep me company. Um, when I was younger and I lived in Lincoln, I uh, surrounded myself with um, hamsters. I had three hamsters uh, over the course of about five years. Two died of old age, I mean they only live for uh, about a year and a half. Um, the other one died of a prolapse which was rather unfortunate and rather nasty to be honest. Since moving up uh, here to Harrogate I've had three guinea pigs. My first guinea pig, which I got a while ago now, uh, was a runt. I call all my guinea pigs after mixed martial artists of course uh, and I, I named this runt Franklin. Um, make of that what you will. And uh, he didn't last very long. I think he was three or four months I had him, if that, before he died. Uh, basically he was about the size, just, just larger than a hamster, fit in my hand. And um, I always thought the guinea pigs were that small, I didn't realise they were supposed to be larger. And basically he had uh, complications. Eventually his back legs froze up and uh, he died. So I buried him in Bilton Woods. Um, and then a year, a year on from that I bought two guinea pigs together to keep um, each other company. Uh, one of which I called Shirk um, and uh, he has since died, had a stroke unfortunately. Um, at least it was rather quick, over a couple of days. Um, this one I call him Laozon and I pronounce it like that. Uh, I'm European so we sort of do it the French way, Laozon rather than Lozon as he likes to call himself. Um, and uh, yes I've had this skinny pig nearly a year now possibly. Must have been about this time. So uh, as you can see it's rather large. Ever so healthy obviously. I uh, keep him in the cage which I have to clean out on a regular basis replenishing with sawdust. Um, straw which he uses as bedding and which he also eats uh, and then of course I've got to feed him he's got hamster flakes you know um, and uh, and water obviously and I've still got a chewy bar <laughs> left over that was given me when I first got them by one of our forum patrons moderator called Danielle um, so yes this is my my uh, my uh, guinea pig which keeps me company. Basically I have him out quite a lot and uh, I've learned how to type and just have him sort of perched on me at the same time. Um, Franklin used to sit on my shoulder but he was much smaller. If this one sits on my shoulder he's likely to fall off. Um, so uh, yes, there we are.